Right, got another milk tank wash problem. It's taking too much water in and fills this little tube up. And the level sensor on the top decides when it's got enough water in. And it's got a little, you can't see, it's got a little overflow hole around the back here somewhere. Yeah, it's around that side. So if it goes wrong, the water comes out here, which is what it's been doing. And um, this is what I found. <coughs> It's just snapped off of there. It was still on there until I sort of touched it and then it snapped off. So it's obviously cracked part of the way around and then uh, it's come off completely. So uh, <coughs> these things work on air pressure. <coughs> As the water goes up on the outside of the tube, the air pressure goes up inside. Makes a little switch work. Well, it should be just something like this. Should have a thread on there. What happens is they come out with this metal nut on there, which that's the new one. They go rusty, I think. It expands and um, snaps the um, plastic off. So. Uh, Let's see if we can get that out of there and fit the new one. Right, got our new level sensor in there. I'll just give it a try now, see what it does. It's just about to take the chemical in, I think. That's a wash time as it goes around. It's just about, it's going to open that hot valve there, hot water up through here. Into the little jug on the side. And you just about see it comes up the thin tube and then overflows down the big tube. I'm washing all the cleaning chemical in. Finished, that siphons all the all the water out the little tube again so the jug's empty for the next day's wash. Just about to see the water coming out the bottom. There. That's the water level coming up. So hopefully it should switch in a minute. Now the timer starts up again. The timer waits for that level sensor to tell it to uh, go on to the next stage.
Then I think 